Rira Kocha Foundation, we founded, uh, wow, it's going to be, well, the vision for it was 20, 24 years ago. Um, <clears throat> and we just created a nonprofit be in, in the honor of Aini, basically, the sacred reciprocity of the Andean tradition, so that when we bring people to Peru, a certain amount of their trip goes to a fund that we use to help the people of Queros. And the things that we've done over time uh, are one thing, the biggest thing we, we accomplished was to put in a clean water system in the Quero villages together with the Living Bridges Foundation and Donna Rennell's by an amazing synchronicity. I'd gathered up all these funds over five years of doing trips and we sent a group with Juan and the Andean Institute of Health, a bunch of doctors up into Queros to see what is the main, what are the main health issues and they found a 60% infant mortality rate. So, and we all discovered kind of at the same time that the, the main issue was the bad water, which is easy, not so hard to fix. To, to fix. So by a coincidence, you know, if there are such things, um, I was put together at a table for lunch with a woman named Donna Rennells and I was sitting there scratching my head going, I got the money, but how do I get the infrastructure and the engineers and how do I get all those people up into Queros because it's pretty tough to get there as you know. And those days it was much, much harder. Yeah. So she said, well, it's so funny because I also discovered that the water is an issue and I have all the engineers and all the people to do it, but we just need the money. And so bling, you know, it was perfect. We put it together and the Wiracocha Foundation fully funded the second stage of the water project. Donna had already completed a first aspect of it. So then we, we put a charcoal filter water system in every village and there's a fountain. You probably saw them when you were up there. So they probably need a bit of repair now at this point. So that was the first big thing. And then the next thing was building the school, Munaitika, or, uh, yeah, Charcapata. in Charcapata. And Wiracocha completely funded that school. And um, so then our next project has kind of dovetailed with my regular life as a mom of two kids. I have an 11 and 12 year old. And uh, they're good surfers, yes. <laughs> and they love Hawaii. But they've come here too. They've been to Peru, um, which they had a great time. They've actually been all over the world with me, which is really fun. But because of the, just having kids brings your attention to the education system, which is disastrous. Not only for the kids of Queros building the school there, really hard to get a teacher to go up there and stay up there. We offered to pay them really well. They wouldn't stay up there because Keros is so remote and so, you know, it's a difficult life for someone who's used to more niceties like hot showers and things like that that we kind of all take for granted from our world. Um, but so I started really being concerned with the whole education situation and last and we, we started, the, the other concern was a lot of the knowledge of the Quero people is going out in very interesting, different ways in the world. Like you'll see in, on YouTube, <clears throat> you'll see uh, someone, one of the Quero speaking Quechua, and then you'll have a translation and the translation is completely wrong, or it's something totally different than what they said, not even related. And because of that issue of the Quero, I really am very deeply concerned, We're Culture Foundation, with having the knowledge be really uh, honorably presented and, and accurately presented. And um, I've just found that that wasn't happening. So we wanted to give the Quero their own voice. And we thought the way to do it, teach the kids English. They'll have a second language that will be very helpful for them. And they'll be able to tell people directly, uh, the Western people, about their tradition without any kind of interpretation, without, without any kind of confusion of the middleman, you know, or, you know, 
having people come in and say whatever they want and this is what the Kero said. And I've seen that so much that, that it sort of really got me inspired to come up with a way that the Kero can represent themselves very effectively. So we started an English program last year. Um, my translator and my guide here for the last 10 years is Freddy Conde, and he speaks fantastic English, fabulous Quechua, and of course Spanish. And so he started, helped me put the English program together. We made a little classroom in the Quero families that live in Cusco and San Sebastian. And uh, the kids started to study with the goal that they would come to Hawaii and go to school with my kids and live in my house for two months. And we accomplished that last September. So it was really a big deal. It was, it was really wonderful. <clears throat> and they taught the kids in our school, they taught Quechua songs. They shared their culture. Their dad went into the classrooms and told all the first and second and third and fourth and fifth graders about what it's like to live in Queros and how is it different. And it was just a, an amazing experience. They were really, really warmly welcomed by the Hawaiian people with many rituals and ceremonies that they did together. Um, it was just beautiful and they shared songs and they felt, you know, where as you probably know in Cusco there's this weird social stratification where the Quero and the people of the, you know, the indigenous people are treated like lower class citizens. And when they, so when those kids come from Quero to Cusco and they enter in the public schools, they get that same kind of, it's racism basically, I mean they get the same treatment. So when they came to Hawaii they were, everyone in the class, all the kids, can we sit, we want us, they were fighting over who could sit next to them, you know, they were treated like royalty everywhere they went and they just had an amazing experience and they gave so much to our kids and our kids gave so much to them, it was just a beautiful thing. So we're continuing that and that's the main main um, project of Wiracocha Foundation right now is the Quero Kids project. So I did a, a nice uh, slideshow of that and I think on our website there's a couple places where you can see um, the Inca scuba where the kids actually went were taken scuba diving so it's really it was nice. <laughs>